So next up, we have Major Jared Cooper from the Krulak Center for Innovation and Creativity, which is part of Marine Corps University and the Corps' uh, Education Command. Um, we like to call ourselves, or they like to call themselves, uh, Think Tank, Do Tank at Marine Corps University. And uh, for those of you that don't know, General Brute Krulak was a famous general in the Marine Corps. Um, they, look, they take an interdisciplinary approach to supporting all students and faculty at Marine Corps University through complex problem solving, fostering an environment that enhances uh, our, meaning Marine Corps, collective warfighting capability and facilitating and encouraging novel solutions to current and future warfighting challenges in order to expand the Corps' competitive edge and improve our warfighting effectiveness. So uh, we'll get um, Jared up here to give his presentation in one second. All right, perfect, let's see what we got here. Oh. There we go. All right. Okay. Jared, if I uh, missed anything. Can you all see that okay? Yep, Is it we got you. Uh, no screen share yet. You should have okay. the Give me one second. Let's see. If, is that working? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Got it. it. Is. Perfect. All if right. If I missed anything, dude, please, uh, please fill in the gaps. Yeah. So I'm about to hit y'all with the, uh, the most DOD of DOD PowerPoints here. So, uh, you're welcome, I guess. But, um, yeah, so real quick, the, uh, the Krulak Center at uh, Marine Corps University. So um, just to kind of give you the bottom line up front is, uh, you know, like, uh, like you said, Lucas, we, we like to coin ourselves as the think tank, do tank for, for the university, but really we're there to support uh, all the students, so all MCU students, and then obviously uh, by default, the rest of the fleet. So everything kind of ties right into here. So we were stood up as part of the QEP, which is essentially the quality education program in the accreditation of Marine Corps University. They, identified that there were certain gaps that needed to, uh, to be developed as far as a modernizing education for the 21st century. So we drew uh, inspiration from General Brute Krulak, um, who essentially was the catalyst for change at the beginning of World War II and incorporating the, uh, the Higgins boat. So he's kind of the inspiration for us to go here. So here's the team um, and what we have. So we have two Title X employees, our Director Ms. Val Jackson, the Colonel uh, in the Reserves, we have five active duty Marines that are all tied into this and have uh, been part of the MCU apparatus for a while. And then six Bryn chairs. So the Bryn chairs, uh, as well as MES, Middle East Studies, are all subject matter experts in, uh, in their respective fields. So I'll go a little bit shorter on this slide uh, because you pretty much already announced it. But if you focus halfway through it, it's all about fostering an environment that enhances our collective war fighting. And we do that presenting novel sol solutions to certain uh, current and future problems. And by challenging those that have the years and the, the, the time, uh, both from their experience and their time at school to really kind of address these issues. And then we, we essentially pull everyone together. So yeah, so that ties right in here. So what do we do? We're not necessarily in the widget development or products kind of like McWill or the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab. However, we do have a close relationship with them, especially when it comes to the war gaming. We bring in subject matter experts from private industry, academia, the rest of the DOD, our partners and allies, and we tie them all together to support the student research when it comes to their master's in military studies. So we do that through these four lines of efforts. Uh, so first and foremost, the bedrock of it all is student support. So everything with the, the PhD and subject matter expertise weighed in to support the students, innovation summits, uh, instructor support through uh, faculty development exercises, bringing in guest speakers, as well as uh, some more here with the advanced education opportunities and the outreach. So we travel a lot, both to FMF or Fleet Marine Force units, partners or allies, and integrated right here. So vertical and horizontal integrator. Um, tying in, like I said earlier, with academia, industry, all of our partners, and then bringing that down to the horizontal portion, which is everybody that encompasses MCU. So the Distance Education Program, School of Advanced Warfighting, EWS, Expeditionary Worker School, and Command and Staff College. We try to bring all these capabilities and everything that everyone's working on uh, to light so everything's just not done, being done in a silo. One of the ways we do that is through wargaming. So we differ from McWill in the fact that we do wargaming for education and ethical decision making. So in light of the, the Commonwealth's recent planning guidance and our own direction from uh, General Bargeron, we do a lot of war gaming in-house. We have our own little space for it as we have, we have analog or tabletop style games. We partner Georgetown University on some of those. And then we also have the digital platforms. 
We also have speaker series. So you can see in the top left, Maggie will appreciate that, but that's Colonel Val Jackson there at the NETSEC Girl Squad for 2019, uh, talking about essentially power, empowering women in the DOD workspace and for national security. Um, on top right, August Cole, Mark Sable, authors of um, um, Ghost Fleet. Down in the bottom, something kind of arbitrary, but we have uh, uh, essentially uh, Mr. Donald Robertson, author of How to Think Like a Roman Emperor and Mental Resilience. It's so a bottom line, it's a smorgasbord of what we provide uh, to our students. Also, we have competitive writing um, and writing contests. So Destination Unknown is one of our really claim to fans of, of which Naval X is pretty familiar. You can check it out on the link up there, but uh, it's a graphic novel focused on uh, operations in the future, encompassing unmanned aircraft, unmanned man teaming, everything else. Um, so more of that, we also teach electives at the school. Uh, here's an example of one that I just did this past January for command and staff. It's called Where Good Ideas Come From, from Steve Johnson's book. It's essentially focusing on topics, breaking the norm uh, for this standard uh, instructor, student kind of uh, led method. You just focus on a topic instead of reading the same material over and over and regurgitating the same points. Everybody just kind of expounds on this, ties it all together, and it's long lasting. So you can kind of find the confluence of ideas and find where it's applicable for, uh, for certain scenarios. Barrow Fellows focused on great power competition, specifically instruments of national power and those outside of the military. So broaden those in uniforms, understanding great power competition with China um, and things that we normally don't think about when it comes to diplomatic, economic, and informational efforts. A lot of guest speakers, and that's open to pretty much everyone, not just Marines. Krulak Scholars, uh, this was born of an article by uh, former Lieutenant General Mike Dana. Uh, it's focused on the CPG force design future war, how do we educate and modernize the force to actually meet the demands that are coming out as part of the CPG? So what can we do from an academic and intellectual perspective due to, to uh, actually facilitate and retain that knowledge and expertise to better affect uh, the future operating environment? Roadshows outreach. So what you see here, bottom left, DEF 2019, Defense Entrepreneurs Forum, bottom right, TWIN, uh, the World Innovation Network in uh, Chicago, tying in with industry and academia, um, kind of writ large. Uh, also, we have uh, stuff within the DOD. Uh, on the top left there is uh, Sandhurst. So that's uh, Colonel Val Jackson, Ian Brown, myself uh, there at the Kulak Center. And then some future initiatives. Um, man, this is a whirlwind. Um, so future initiatives is to continue to tie in deeply with the, uh, the war gaming. Everybody at the TCOM War Fighting Society, which is our education, training education command, Mick Will, everyone else and um, expand our outreach. So we're brand new. We just started up about a year ago. We're getting our feet under us. We have a solid social media platform, which is tying right here to our next development, which is essentially our new webpage. So right now we're under the existing AppFim system, which is a DOD secured system. It's not the best in the world, but we are upgrading. So working with uh, NSIN, developing a new system uh, that'll be coming online sometime this summer, but it'd be far more interactive. And we very much encourage you all to, uh, to participate and please hit me up afterwards. That's pretty much all I have. Thank you. That was, that was a whirlwind. And it's funny. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm glad you did that, Jerry, because I was really interested uh, to see how the Pecha Kucha format <laughs> would flow with, you know, yeah. you're probably the most, you know, and you said that you're probably the most standard of uh, yeah. the brief. That, that yeah, I mean, and so. I even reduced the uh, the amount of slides to give me like a few extra seconds per slide, knowing <laughs> how, how it was going to be. But yeah, that was, that was fast. No, you, you're right in on time. Uh, just a reminder for any anyone that just hopped in, uh, the Petra Kucha format is 20 slides at 20 seconds per slide, um, auto forwarding. And so that's why uh, if you saw any transitions, it wasn't Jared pushing forward it was the slideshow going and so it's him playing catch up and uh high energy high high calorie as uh brandon smart would say but uh it's definitely a fun format and uh from my perspective you nailed it uh, that was a lot of information but uh you hit all the salient points and i think there's going to be a lot of interest uh yeah i appreciate joining. it we're always open so both here and afterwards just excited to share and be a part of this so thank you for doing this yep you got it man